What's going on everyone? Austin John Please here and today I think it's a good idea that we come up with a finite system for online trades to help everybody out at Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. In my first video that I put out covering this game, which was about the Manaphy and the Fioni, uh, so many people were like, wait, how did you get all three starters? And it's all post-game stuff. But I think it's a good idea that at this point now, we come up with a trade system. Now, something similar was implemented for Sword and Shield. Honestly, I feel like it could have been implemented a little bit better, especially since all those codes didn't work anymore because they were on the eight-digit system. Granted, people just copied it over. But now that I had a chance with my buddy Philly Beats You to mess around with how the Union Room works, and also right now I think there's a one week free trial of Nintendo Switch Online, now's a great time for us to go ahead and define the trade codes. Now what do I mean by the trade codes? I mean I'm gonna be talking about Microsoft Excel again, <laughs> or more specifically Google Sheets. There are a whole bunch of people who want to start the game off with three starters, unfortunately you cannot. After you get your second gym badge over here in Eterna City, you're gonna be heading down and all the way around over here to Silesion Town on your way to your next destination being Veilstone City. Silesion Town is the location of the breeder. This would be the earliest point in which you could start to hatch more starter eggs. But of course, the most important part is you will only pass down the females species unless you're using a ditto. So you would have to restart your game in order to get yourself a female starter to the point that you can come over here and actually breed it down with a compatible egg group for more starters. Of course, people in the end game who have a ditto and can get more starters, it's not a problem. My buddy Philly beats you and I thought it'd be a good idea now, soon as the game comes out, that we define these codes. We're using a very simple system. No more complicated, you have to look up the chart and everything else. If you have Turtwig, whose national Pokedex number is 387, and you want Chimchar, then you're gonna put 0387, 0390, because that's Turtwig's national dex number and Chimchar's. Likewise, if you have multiple Turtwigs and you want a Piplup, then you're gonna do 0387, 0387, 0393, 0393. That remains true for all six different trades that you can do for the starter Pokemon. We also have the full version exclusive list. No more speculation based off of data mines. We have exactly who is version exclusive, and I am going to be considering all Pokemon in the national decks. We basically have it set up different codes for Caterpie to Weedle, and then if we're gonna scroll down here, we have Weedle to Caterpie, because you're gonna have a Caterpie, you want a Weedle, this is everyone with Brilliant Diamond, or if you have Shining Pearl, you have a Weedle, you want a Caterpie. Likewise, the codes are 0010 to 0013, because you're trading Caterpie for Weedle, Ekans for Sandshrew, Growlithe for Vulpix, Seal for Slowpoke, Scyther for Pinsir, Murkrow for Mistrevious, Gligar for Teddy Ursa, Elekid to Magby, Larvitar to Bagon, Seedot to Lotad, Mawile to Sableye, Zangoose for Seviper, Solrock for Lunatone, Kecleon for Stantler, Kranidos for Shilion, Stunky for Glammeow. The only part is that it could get slightly confusing if you are playing Pearl because we're using reverse numbers here. Because obviously if you have a Weedle and you want a Caterpie, you can't go to a room full of people who have Weedles and want Caterpies. Instead, you have to go to the room full of Caterpies who want Weedles. So you are going to be using those same codes, the 0010 for 0013. Version exclusive legendaries. Now, I'm going to put out a big disclaimer here. If you do this, don't fully expect to get your legendary back. Okay, this is, if you are doing this because you want to get yourself full dex completion or you don't like the legendary that you have, then yes, don't go into this with the mentality of, hey, I want to trade my Dialga for a Palkia and expect them to trade the Palkia back for Dialga. Granted, I do recommend everyone stay in these trades for the opportunity to trade back. That would just be good manners for everyone because you're probably gonna want your original back, let's be honest here. If you watch my video right now and you're a good person, which I know my audience is, then yeah, stay there and you know offer to trade it back. But again, don't go into it with the mentality of you're guaranteed it back, as sad as that is. You're also gonna notice for the version legendaries for the birds and dogs, we didn't make it to 
the Pokedex order. Instead, we made it by the elements, so you would be trading your Raikou for a Zapdos, even though the lowest Pokedex number would be Articuno. And that's kind of what we did for everything. We made them sort of equivalent trades across the board between all the version exclusives. Lastly is arguably one of the most difficult ones is the trades. Now I was able to just go into the union room, hit public, and I just showed a Kadabra and they showed a Haunter and then we traded and we traded back. It was someone who was speaking Japanese and there was just a nice unspoken bond about it. But granted, it's pre-release day. You're not guaranteed that level of, I don't know, humanity, <laughs> to be honest with you. So we came up with a list here and you need to offer the same thing that you have. Poliwhirl holding a King's Rock for Poliwhirl with a King's Rock. That way both people are guaranteed a Politoed you should always offer to trade it back. 0061 to 0061. The first four numbers are always gonna be the same as the last four, with one exception. But this is gonna remain true for Kadabra for Kadabra. Obviously you don't need to have a held item, but Magmar for Magmar, both of them need the Magmarizer at 126. Graveler, no item, Slowpoke, King's Rock, Haunter, no item, Onyx, Metal Coat, Rhydon, Protector, Seedra, the Dragon Scale, Scyther, the Metal Coat, Electabuzz, the Electorizer, Porygon with the upgrade, Porygon 2 with the dubious disc. The most confusing part is the Clamp Pearls, because Clamp Pearl could evolve into either Huntail or Gorbis. So we've actually made it 0366 to 0367, because that's Clamp Pearls with a tooth looking for clam pearls with a tooth because both people want a hunt tail. Likewise, 0036 to 0038, clam pearls with a scale, clam pearls with a scale because you're looking for Gorbis. That's kind of the only real exception between all of these. And I want to put it out now that if you are watching this video and you write for a news article or an internet news article, please feel free to spread this information as much as possible. This is what we want. Now just a really big pro tip here when it comes to the evolution trades. Be sure to check the held items. You do get the summary screen of the Pokemon that you are trading for. Be sure to check for it because some people might think it's funny to trade a Haunter with an Everstone, which is actually programmed into the game. There's an NPC who trades you a Haunter for an Everstone. It's horrible, but it's a nice way to get Everstone and you know, a Haunter that has more experience, although it's not a Gengar. And be sure that they are holding the appropriate item. Make sure that they are holding the right thing when this video goes live, I'm going to put it all over my Twitter and everywhere else. I'm going to reach out to some news articles or some publications and see if, you know, they want to spread this word too, because this system of just using the national dex numbers, it's kind of future proof. And that's what we want. So please do me a favor. If you're part of a Discord group, share this along. I'm also going to be putting out all these PNGs on my Discord. Share them with every single Discord that you possibly know, every gaming community, because I feel like this is going to be the best way to spread this information and everyone's on the same page. And the grand overall goal of this is everyone completes their Pokedex. And with this, not only your local Pokedex, but your national Pokedex. Well, great. There we go. Hopefully this is the trading system that's going to carry on and everyone's going to get a whiff of it and everyone's going to be using the same system that we were all on the same page using the same codes. Fantastic. Guys, if you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.